Hi there, good morning. Welcome to this week midweek market analysis. So as usual, we're gonna start off by looking at the dollar index over here. Now DXY from last week, what we have, we did get a very impulsive drop. And uh, since then for this entire week so far, what we're seeing is the market seems to be bottoming out a little bit. Now over here, we are looking at a potential five wave structure with wave one being here wave two and potentially wave three may have completed and right now what we're seeing here is the development of wave four and therefore if we can get a corrective pullback towards this zone around 100.5 to 101.1 there's a good possibility that we may get another push back down to complete the fifth wave structure now from any wave perspective for wave four to be valid price needs to stay below the territory of wave 1 which put us around 101.90 so it means that we would likely like want to see some kind of a resistance around the zone and of course um, corrective structure that would then open up a sell trade opportunity in terms of dollar so keep a look out that um, likely the trade may come to us earliest by Friday if not, then you know price is likely just going to be corrective in nature all the way until the end of the week, and then this would just open up an opportunity perhaps next week. Now, if you take a look at euro dollar, the structure overall looks a little bit different from the dollar index. Now, euro dollar over here, we kind of see it as a potential three wave move. The reason is because this move up here stalls around the fit ratios at one hundred to one to three. Whereas the dollar index actually pushed further in terms of FIPS closer towards the 1618 and therefore that gives me an idea of a potential different structure. Now another thing that is different here is we did see a slight little crawl which is a kind of like lack in momentum. We do have a divergence there as well. So in the short run, euro dollar here we're anticipating at least some kind of a deeper pullback towards maybe 1.1055. Now that is an opportunity that we can capitalize in the short term while the long term structure may remain as a bullish bias. So one way to look at this is of course we can have a very aggressive entry with the recent low. If price can break below that low impulsively that becomes an opportunity to sell it. If you are a bit more conservative you may want to wait for the break and a retest before you commit to the sell trade in the short run. So euro dollar i think this is an opportunity within this week itself we may get a break today we may get a break tomorrow so keep a look out a bit if you're interested in euro dollar now gbp usd is falling down quite nicely since the start of the week we may have completed a bigger five wave move as well as in white in yellow as well as in green right so different kind of degree formation suggests that this may be nearing the top and we may start to see a bigger move back down for pound. Now overall, I'm still neutral. The reason is because we did not get a very clear structure and setup for us to, to kind of sell it yet. Uh, ideally, I want to see a move down. And then following that, a corrective pullback. Right? So I'm just basically waiting for that to happen before we take the sell. So for now, I'm neutral. I'm being a little bit patient on this and see how price will develop before committing to any trade. Then we have Aussie dollar. Um, Aussie dollar, I'm a little bit of a neutral right now. Okay, um, we do have a bullish kind of structure perspective with a one, two, three, potentially wave four here. But right now, I'm seeing is this little pullback is not the most ideal setup. We always want to see at least some some kind of a three wave move. So I'm a bit neutral because this drop seems a bit fast, and coupling that, you know, in terms of contacts. We do have a little bit of a topish formation here. So what can happen is this may not be a five wave move. This can be a simple one, two, three. And then face some resistance. This may come back down as a three wave move. Perhaps break that low to complete this structure before the bigger move back up, right? So that's kind of a three wave here. One, two, and then three. So I'm a bit neutral. I just want to give it a little bit more time to see how price is going to develop before kind of committing to any particular direction to focus. Okay, so Aussie, neutral on that. And then we have the dollar cat. Now dollar cat, we are basically right now testing the 50 zone. 
and uh, short term over here we may get an opportunity to look for Byron simply put we have a V this is a tree wave structure at least on the hourly it becomes a little bit clearer right one two three so this zone here opens up an opportunity to buy right and what we are seeing here is as price is coming down we start to see a little bit of a stall okay this may of course continue to crawl a little bit if that's the case then of course we have a very nice little breakout trade uh, at least from a short run okay even in the one hour i think you can see it quite clearly and uh, the target over here will potentially but just pull back to at 618 giving us a price point of 1.3275, right? So this is a short-term buy. Uh, it's a potential trade that we may get today or even tomorrow, right? Quite similar to the Euro dollar perspective. And then we have the dollar yen. Okay, dollar yen to me is very, very clear. The direction is definitely downside. We're just being patient and wait for this to complete. If this is a, it's gonna be a very, very nice little corrective structure. This is a trade next week, right? So it's unlikely we're gonna get anything this week here. Um, but we're just monitoring if we can get this by next week. This area will be very, very nice for a sell, especially the 141.15, 50% fits. If you stretch it to the left, you can see that's where our key areas are, right? So this one, not a, not a trade this week, but definitely you want to pay very, very close attention going forward, okay? Now, go here, tag our target very nicely, okay? So we're seeing this as a potential 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, we shared this, you know, in the earlier part of the week. We're targeting here, you know, with a buy. So right now we have hit our target. I'm shifting back to neutral because I just want to see how market is going to react here, right? Either we're going to get a very impulsive drop and then with that, we can expect a little bit more downside. Okay, we can capitalize on this short-term sell or we're going to get a corrective move here. If that's the case, we'll be looking for a breakout and uh, that will open up a bigger move because if that happens, then it will break out this entire resistance zone. So just give, give the market some time, be neutral for now. Let's see how it's going to develop first. Now WTI, short term, you're expecting a three wave pullback. So one, two, three. Overall, it's still bullish because this is a pretty impulsive move. We have broke off that structure here as well. So likely this is just a pullback of a retest. And uh, if we can get that, coming back down and then it starts to do a corrective crawl, then we have a very nice little buy opportunity of crude oil. Okay. So this is again, not a trade this week, but maybe moving forward, just wanna pay a little bit more attention to that. Now in terms of S&P equities, um, I'm neutral. We have a little bit of a further pushback up, um, but overall, I would suggest not to be too aggressive in buying. Always wait for the pullback before you commit to the trade. So either, either way, we're going to either see an impulsive drop and a correction. If we see this, we of course can take the sell trade to the downside. Alternatively, if this just comes down slow, okay, then um, that would open up further upside and that's our buy setup, right? So for now, just remain patient and give time for the market to develop. Okay, last one here is BTC. BTC is also building up a very nice trade. Um, we have talked about this, I think, last week as well. We're looking at this zone price, just tag it, and how it tags it is pretty decent. We have a corrective crawl, okay? and uh, that's what we want, right? So of course, if you're aggressive, you can look for pending orders at the bottom. If not, wait for the break. Okay, So you either have a pending limit, or you can potentially put in a pending stop, where you get a breakout trade to the upside. Okay, So this is a very clear structure because we have an impulsive move. This is basically corrective in nature. We've given it sufficient time, and of course, right now it's quite ideal and I would say optimum to start looking for the buy trade to the outside. All right. So I think short term within the week, we do have a couple of opportunity in particularly the euro dollar, the dollar cat as well as the BTC. So that's all for me for today's video over here. All the best for trading and I'll see you guys in the next one.